Yes, uh, this is uh, Peter Christian Hessing again, and I hope you're having a great day. And I want to just talk about ending poverty in the world and stopping all these wars in the world here. Uh, here is a fruit. This is a fruit. Um, this, is, this is like a grapefruit. And this is like the world's, the world's resources. Um, uh, we have um, food, we have grapes, we have uh, apples, we have corn, we have wheat, we have um, you know, watermelons, we have rice, we have um, vegetables, lettuce and tomato, um, we have bread, we have fishes, we have chicken, we have cows and sheep. And we have all of these resources that we need and there are there is money out there, and the, the, the banks have millions and billions of trillions of dollars. Everybody needs to share in these resources. We have um, water and the air, the environment. Really, every nation needs the air, that to breathe the oxygen, the water, uh, all, all the, the vitamins and minerals that are out there. You know, there is gold and diamonds and iron and and, and aluminum and steel and platinum, all these important resources that the world needs. And every nation has to share in these resources now. We have all the technology now to end poverty uh, and end hunger and starvation in the world very quickly. Um, we have computers that can create businesses and opportunities uh, for four billion people in the world. We have computers that can co that can process uh, quadrillions a second. So you can easily have a computer that can set up a business network uh, for every human being uh, in, in the world. And also, we have to make peace in the world. God and, and Jesus or Allah the religion you are in, Christian or Islam, um, God intended us to live in peace. Whether we are Hindus or Buddhists or, or whatever we are, Christians or Jehovah Witnesses or Jews or Arabs or um, Baptists or Catholics, God intended us to live uh, together. We have to live in peace. We can't be fighting and killing each other and see what's happening in the Middle East. There uh, with the Sunnis and the Shiites in Israel and Gaza, we have all these terrorist groups. And we have to end these wars uh, in the world. The only way that you're going to be able to end these wars in the world is end poverty. And you have to have um, weapons control. We have technology now. We can put phones and computers and beepers and, and weapons and guns to control uh, machine guns, automatic, we can put them into high-powered magazines. We have all these gadgets, phones, recorders, uh, um, you know, beepers, um, telephones, cameras that we can put into guns and we can control all weapons in the world. The only way you're going to stop terrorism is by having some arms control. And the Republicans here in America have to understand if you're going to stop terrorism in Israel and Syria save millions of lives. You're going, you're going to have to have um, gun control and arms control. And, uh, they, they, they're going to have to have uh, 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 arms control and gun control. you got to sit down with the gun manufacturers who make these automatic uh, rifles and AK-47s and bazookas and all the bombs and missiles and nuclear missiles and chemicals and all these large corporations and gun manufacturers and say to them, you have technology now. You can control these weapons. You have to uh, put in gadgets that we can control. Don't let these weapons get into the, the uh, hands of, of, of the terrorists, um, whether they're in uh, Al-Qaeda or ISIS or Hezbollah or, or the drug cartels. You have to uh, have these gun manufacturers who make weapons with controls, and they can easily do it. And the Republicans have to realize that they have to, if you're going to stop terrorism, they're going to have to have some gun control. I believe that every American has a right to protect themselves, and I support the Second Amendment. But if you're going to stop terrorism, you have to have gun control and arms control in the Middle East, or you're going to have to send our soldiers here, our sons and daughters, and a lot of them are going to get killed. The Republicans must understand that you have to have arms and arms control. Thank you, God bless. This is Peter Christopher. Thank God. Peace.